what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Where we left off, we're continuing to defend Phoenix yep. against Mr. Gavin with the random assist of his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> We've met her. She's, she's cute. A, she's a cutie. This is, this, is, this, is, this is the OTP it builds. Oh, okay. God. Anyways. <laughs> Potential uh, love and We're now also in like a 3D model of the murder scene about the, the body Which of luckless victim found at the poker table. we didn't have with the previous games. <laughs> no. And before the killer swapped a card out, there was a single card with a drop of blood on it from the victim's hand. Given this, there's one decisive problem with this scene. Well, what is it? I never know anything. Let's keep it simple, shall we? Given that there was a drop of blood on a card, whose position is this di whose position this diagram doesn't fit? The victims? The killers? The witnesses? The second witnesses? Whose position doesn't fit with the bloody card? Um That's a uh, very Good question. Uh. Um. I mean, the the per the only person who's away from the card table, right? I. But what exactly is that so? phrasing? What's that phrasing? I know that's the thing I'm actually trying to figure out is the phrasing of what they're asking from us in here. Yeah, because if it's like. Whose position doesn't fit with the bloody card? You'd think it'd be obvious that it's the second witness. But... But what... Is there, like, more to it? That, is it are we misinterpreting the, it? I, I... I know, that's the thing that's thrown me off the most. Because, I mean... Because, like, the way he worded it was so... I think we can get rid of the dealer slash first witness, which was... Olga, if we can knock her out because that doesn't make sense. Because, I mean, you'd think the killer, because they're like trying to make it the sense that the killer wouldn't fit there. There's obviously the witness there because why, how would the witness be near the card? Blah, blah, blah. If he never stepped in, but I thought he stepped in afterwards. Wait, no, I think he said he didn't step in. No, he didn't step in because he didn't want to, yeah. like. The only thing I thought of was that the victim wouldn't make sense because if it was going down the back, or the, the yeah, the victim, because if it was going on the back of his head, the cards were like on the table so oh. I don't know so it could be either the victim or the second witness I'm not sure which I'll go with the second witness for now I'll take the hit if I need to but hmm. the second witness's position is the problem the second witness that would be Mr. Gavin yes the second witness's position is far less problematic than yours right now justice or perhaps perilous is a better word uh I cannot see what the bloodstained card has to do with the second witness's location. We're you more than in peril of a penalty okay, so this it's time. Not that. Your Honor, one more chance, please. I suppose. Or a couple more. <laughs> do you think it's over, Mr. Justice? Let's keep it simple, shall we? Given that there's a drop of blood on the card, okay. whose position this diagram doesn't fit. Uh, okay. It's like, what? So I guess What it, does that wording mean? So I guess it's the victim then? I They're guess. saying whose position doesn't make sense for there to be a drop of blood on the card. So I guess that would yeah. be the victim, since it was going in the back of his head and the ace would have been on the a table. And the ace would yeah, what well, ace would have been wouldn't have been on the floor. Well, isn't it the victim's position that's the problem? I don't follow your logic here, Mr. Justice. Well, Look, the victim was struck on the head, sending him back in his chair. Oh, I think we did Okay, it. we're going yeah, the right way, okay. I think. You'd think any blood would fall behind the body, not onto the table in front of him. Ah! Like I was thinking. Yeah, okay. okay. Take a look at the photo again. If he bled in this position, the blood would fall onto the floor, not the cards. Why, that's right! So, what does this mean? <laughs> Incidentally, we I were sitting that. in swivel chairs. S swivel chairs? Oh, man. <laughs> Apollo, try to turn the chair around. Um. Um. How do I? How uh -oh. would I? How would I do that? Do I need my? Do you use the mouse? Do I need to do this? AKA stylus. Okay, grabbing my uh, this. Do I need to? Whoa. <laughs> That's weird. That is weird. Oh, the mouse. All right. The mouse. Oh, I mean, it's on the small part of the True. screen. These people can't see. The chair was facing the other way. 
It would have to be. It's so weird. <laughs> so we have to assume that at the time of the murder, the victim's chair was facing away from the table. Hmm. When Mr. Wright returned from informing the police, which way was the chair facing? When I came back to the room, the body was facing a scene in the photo. That would mean the killer turned the chair back around. Hmm. hmm. Let's take the next step. Look at the diagram once more. We know now the victim was facing away from the table at the time of the murder. But this creates another significant contradiction. A again? You mean while he's over there just like, <laughs> ah. Let's test your reasoning skills again, shall we? Paula, whose location on this diagram contradicts with the new understanding of the crime. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose location <sighs> creates a contradiction that the victim was facing away? <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so uh, confused. Okay. We're, we're literally Apollo right now. Yeah, just... No. <laughs> okay, that's an inside joke that no one's gonna fucking get. <laughs> okay, so I think at this point we can obviously knock the victim out from there. Yeah. Uh, we can once again. I think we can keep Olga out of this. So it becomes so killer. It becomes either the killer or the witness. Killer. The second witness. I say killer. But why? I don't know. I just have a feeling. I'll go with the, I'll go with you. We have a few hits that we can take, so... The victim was struck from the front, correct? Yeah. Indeed. That's what, like... Well, wouldn't it be hard for the killer to hit him from the front? Sitting where his indicator currently is? I would think it'd be quite hard, yes. Exactly. Yes, but what you're saying makes no sense. Why would the victim suddenly turn to face the wall in the middle of a game? I believe a sufficient reason will soon come to light. He wanted to be a James what? Bond villain. <laughs> There's something in this diagram that makes far less sense, actually. Look again at the diagram. Oh, God. Apollo! <laughs> if the victim was struck from where he was sitting, as shown here, where would his assailant be standing? Uh... Try marking on the diagram. Well, 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 wait, wait. What? what? But, but... Is there room to put a mark where the killer should be? Don't worry. Let's think it through and see what we find. We know the victim was facing toward the wall at the time of the crime. It's the only thing we know for sure. Try to forget about everything else. Remember the killer have to be standing to strike our victim from the front. Did he yeet a bottle at his head? I mean, he would have to be over in this cabinet then, so... They kind of had to be standing well, uh, here. Uh. You get points for flair, but that's about all you get. Uh-oh. Uh, I thought I was onto something there, too. I don't need to point out that standing there would be impossible. The victim was facing a solid cupboard. Why are you claiming the killer climbed the cupboard and hit him from above? <laughs> it's simple logic, really. If that was the only place the killer could have been standing, then that means that, at the very moment of the crime... Wait! I know. At the moment of the crime, the cupboard wasn't there. What's this now? I mean, that's the only explanation. Right, Mr. Gavin? Mm. Your Honor, I have a suggestion for the defense. Be sure you should examine the cupboard in the hideout immediately. Oh, uh, was there like fine china inside the cupboard and stuff? And like, Bailiff, send a team to the crime scene immediately. I've been trying to remove the cupboard. Uh, Your Honor? What? There's one more thing your men should look for. Please give this to the bailiff. Hmm? Hmm, yes, I see. You do belong in the courtroom after all, Mr. Wright. I do my best. He's doing his best. <laughs> well, let's forge ahead here while we wait. Look at the diagram once again. It's been changed. I wonder what he's <laughs> sent in that note. I don't know. They're keeping that hidden from us for a reason, but it's <sighs> apparently something real good. Yeah. If the killer was standing here at the time of the crime, and this cupboard wasn't here. Which means... Well, try to remember the... Oh, fuck. Grab him. Grab him. 
All right, I'm just gonna go over here and yeet, block the window. That's what I was thinking ahead yeah. of time already. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> You're welcome. As you can see, the cupboard was the problem. At the time of the murder, it had to have been as shown here. Hmm. Now everything is in place to reconstruct the moment of the crime. Oh my! <laughs> What's this? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> what, what is it now? Look at the diagram of the crime scene once more. It appears we've found yet another contradiction. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> I had to. Ooh, woo. What I believe to be the final contradiction, in fact. Huh? Oh, dang. <laughs> Notice something, Apollo? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Our line of deduction is rapidly approaching its logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Justice, please point to the new contradicting indication. Is it the victim? The killer? The witness? The second witness? Now. What's indicated in this diagram and contradicts what is the Now murder. it's the second yeah. witness. That's 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 a hell of a contradiction. There right is there. no witness, even unless you're staring um, at a cupboard. How about this cupboard? Are we all okay with assuming it was moved? Sure, why not? <laughs> well, if it was, something really doesn't fit. The cupboard would completely cover up a window to the stairs. Ah! That's right, someone standing outside wouldn't be able to see in. Yep. Someone like Mr. Gavin. What? What did you say? Oh, he did that oh. little twitchy <laughs> smile. Is the coolest defense in the West losing his cool? <clears throat> Don't expect me to play along with your little game, right? It's only a game until someone gets killed, Mr. Gavin. Oh. And someone was, while the one in that room was blocked by a cover. Hmm. So, Mr. Gavin, perhaps you'd like to explain to the court. Exactly where did you witness the crime scene from? Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, your honor. <laughs> order! This is a court of law, and I will have order. Wait, we just now received word from our investigative team at the Boris Bowl Club. They've examined the cupboard in the hideout, your honor. Oh, and what did they find? Well, your honor, it turns out there's a secret passage behind it. What? Oh, man. Ah, uh, yes, I believe I mentioned something of the sort before. This is one of the tricks of the room many of our regulars know about. I do remember you saying something about that now that he mentions it. A secret passage is a handy thing to have when you're engaged in illegal goings on. Never know when you might need to duck away from the eyes of the law. Ah. So the room has a, so the room has a secret passage. Where does it go? Narnia. <laughs> the other side connects to the restaurant above. The underworld bosses get away from the cops and enjoy a cold bowl of borscht, no doubt. Just like our killer. <laughs> He's baffled. He's sweating. He's him. <laughs> and we're me. Yeah. You see where our line of simple deductive reasoning has led us, Apollo? I see it, but I don't believe it. That girl wasn't kidding when she said I needed this trump card for the last hand. Mm-hmm. At the time of the murder, the window was blocked and the victim's hat was only off his head for the few minutes between Mr. Smith's murder and Mr. Wright's return from calling the cops. In other words, the only place anyone could have seen the victim's bald head was from inside the hideout. Well, Mr. Gavin, come on, say something. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny I said, <laughs> dare I ask what really happened that night? Actually, I think we can probably figure it out ourselves at this point. Yeah. That night, for whatever reason, our killer had a date with Mr. Smith. A date with Destiny. There he crouched, hidden the secret password behind the cupboard. Holding his breath, waiting for just the right moment. Then the chance came, and he took it. <laughs> Must have been the girl, yeah. What? Why'd you do that? Wait here, I'll get help. Miss Olga Orly was out cold, struck by Mr. Smith. But his time was soon to come. Mr. Wright went upstairs to call the cops. Leaving Mr. Shady Smith alone in the hideout with the unconscious dealer. Then our killer stepped out from the secret passages into the hideout. The victim must have heard the cupboard sliding aside. And he turned around, ah. He wheeled his chair around to look and... Ooh. After the deed was done, the criminal must have seen the blood on the card. Like, oops. <laughs> he would have, of course, realized he needed to destroy the evidence. That single spot of blood told the whole story of the crime. 
As it's being told right now. <laughs> Too bad Frammy didn't linger any longer on the hideout that night. If he had, he might have noticed the cards on the floor. And the fact that they were all red. <laughs> mm. Hairbrush. Yeah, <laughs> gotta fix the do. Bap, bap, bap. Bip, bap, bam. Hmm. Well, it seems this trial has taken yet another turn. I'm truly, truly sorry I had to see this day come, Mr. Gavin. Hmm. Mr. Gavin? Mr. Payne? Yeah, yeah um, yes, you wanna? The prosecution will continue its investigation. As for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the defendant, he is hereby cleared of all suspicion. Why Believe me when I say that I don't believe this is happening, Mr. Gavin. But I'm afraid circumstances call for me to issue a warrant for your arrest immediately. He's objecting to it. Yep, oh boy. Of course he is. Oh, no need to apologize. I rather enjoyed myself. It's not every day you get to witness a legendary attorney's dirty tactics firsthand. Your point, Mr. Gavin? Frankly, mm. Your Honor, I'm shocked that a person of your caliber will be taken in by such a low grade parlor trick. Uh, excuse me? The defendant is cleared of all suspicion. This is hardly the time for the jokes, Your Honor. For the jokes? <laughs> Fuck it. This <laughs> red hasn't proven anyone's guilt or innocence here. What he has done is use illegal evidence to put the blame on someone else. Not just anyone else, but me, his own defense attorney. Uh, illegal evidence? Let me ask you, Mr. Gavin. Is there still any reason at present to suspect me of wrongdoing? Of course, this bottle, for instance. The bottle of grape juice Mr. Wright was drinking? How do you intend to explain away the fingerprints on the murder weapon? Not just any fingerprints. Am I right, Mr. Payne? Actually, yes, the fingerprints on the bottle were um, upside down. Yeah. yeah. I seem to recall this being an issue earlier. The court in this case demand an explanation. I can think of only one reason why he would hold the bottle upside down. And that is to hit someone with the bottom of the bottle. Well, Your Honor? Mmm. Ah, see how the caught fish squirms to the last. Well, Apollo? It, yes? Your boss seems awfully concerned about this bottle still. But I'm sure you can come up with a suitable explanation. Just like that. Um, yeah. Just like what? <laughs> Why would anyone grab a bottle upside down other than to... <laughs> Murder! Don't let him trick you into thinking the explanation is the only legitimate one. Um, is there really another? To drink it. <laughs> Take another look at the court record. I believe you'll find a simple answer there. Hardcore chug the bottle. <laughs> In plain sight. Um, how would you say the answer in plain words? It would be hasty to deliver a verdict with unanswered questions, indeed. Well, Mr. Justice? Mr. Gavin said that the court and this case demand an explanation. Don't worry, justice won't leave until justice is done. Oh my god. <laughs> Perhaps the defense would care to enlighten the court? What evidence do you have to explain why the fingerprint on the bottle upside down? Okay. What do we have? The autopsy report, caused by a single blow to the forehead. <sighs> that does nothing. The sub basement, the Borst Bowl Club. Okay. Mm. The bottle's there. <sighs> hmm. Grape juice bottle. To get the ace out? Or the, not the ace, but the card out? Maybe? Um, let me see. Can I view the bottom of this? I can examine the bottom of the bottle. Oh, nope. The bottle's really empty. God damn it. Okay, never mind. I thought it was on the <laughs> something there. Was, oh, it to, was it to take the card out? Huh. You, Photo of forehead? That doesn't do anything for me. You know what me. I mean? Because he said he put the card in there and the card's not in there anymore. Oh. What? To get out of the fucking crate. Oh, yeah. Dupe! I ain't picked <laughs> up. I, I, that's gonna be my guess. Yeah. It's actually easier to show you than to explain, Your Honor. Because who would pick it up, like, you know? Place that ball on the floor next to your chair. Excuse me? On the floor? You heard me! <laughs> yes, now reach down and pick it up. Without getting out of your chair. 
I don't know. He sees just... where he's going. See? You can actually go to pick up the bottle by its neck. With your fingers upside down. Bum bum bum. Look at this photograph taken on the night of the murder. <laughs> Look at the photograph. The defendant, Mr. Wright, sat here. Playing piano, bottles of grape juice on the floor to the side of his piano bench. He would have naturally picked up the bottles upside down several times. Wow! I can't believe it was that simple. Recall our dinner that evening, Kristoff. Hmm. I was drinking my usual juice then, too. Basically, he used the bottle on the table to do the deed. But then he must have remembered. So he went and picked up one of the bottles from under the piano. And you switched the bottles. Oh. You took one of Mr. Wright's bottles and made it look like the murder weapon. That's convenient for him. Like, oh, his fingerprints are on this. Order, order, order. What do you have to say to these charges, Mr. Gavin? Did uh, did did the note say like, take, grab the crate of grape juice bottles and bring it in? Oh, <laughs> that'd be great. Hmm. He's like, how? He'll probably be like, how can you prove that I did that? Fascinating. So this is the legendary attorney's famed tactic of misdirection. What? What? You claim that I switched the bottle? Where's your proof? Yeah. P proof? Uh. <laughs> well, that's um. As I thought, more baseless conjecture. I'm afraid your bottle of proof is quite empty. Objection! They'll find, yeah. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Mm. Your Honor, we initiated the investigation of the hideout <laughs> earlier. Do you recall I requested an additional investigation? Ah, yes. I have your memo about that here. Retrieve the bottles from under the piano at the boss book club. That's my boy. Yep. That's my boy. And here's one of the bottles in question. <laughs> what, are you going to dust that for fingerprints too? Yeah. I'd be surprised if any were in that but his. Is that going to have a card inside it? Oh. I don't know. Well, it's you. Actually, Mr. Kevin probably wouldn't take such a novice mistake. True. That bottle won't bear a trace of anything. It's going to have the card in it. <laughs> Say, Apollo. Yes! <laughs> why don't you go ahead and examine that bottle? But, but why? Just humor me. Mr. Well, Wright! his face. That bottle will solve all this, this case once and for all. When what? He, he got a serious face for a second. Yeah. That's some bottle. All right. Oh, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me the music. It. All right. Spin the bitch. Yes! Oh. Yes! There it is! Touch it. Examine. That's proof that the bottles were switched. Uh, there's something inside the bottle. Cause like even if he didn't have, Pop. even if he wiped his fingerprints off, it's his bottle that had the card in it. So boom. What? What's this? That that card? It can't be. <laughs> Recall that unpleasant woman's testimony for a moment. Um, Miss Olga Ori. Yes, our little swindling devo devotchka. Devotchka. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. <laughs> That night I planted the card like I was supposed to, and Wright lost the last hand just like he was supposed to. Then Smith searched him like he was supposed to, but the planted card was gone like it wasn't supposed to be. And then, <laughs> <laughs> but wait, this isn't. You're telling me that this is the planted card you disposed of? The one you mentioned in the piece of testimony? I happened to put it in my pocket and found a card. Yes, I snuck a peek at it and found it was the Five of Hearts. I had a feeling something might happen, so I disposed of the card before the game. Disposed? Where? There was an empty bottle of grape juice I had been drinking right beside me. Yep. Threw the card inside the bottle. The Five of Hearts. This is the card. The bottles were swapped. And the only one who could have done that was the fourth person in the club that night. You, Mr. Christoph Gavin. Mm. Ooh, Whoa. that's an angry hair flip. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he's gonna pop. Uh-oh. Oh, what in the world? He's defying the laws of gravity. Did he- does he have fucking telekinetic powers? Um. <laughs> Just hit. That is all. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> is... This your idea of revenge, Phoenix Wright? Revenge? Revenge for the events that took away your attorney's badge seven years ago? <laughs> my past is like my logic. Straight but true. 
Straight and true. Yeah. Nothing's changed. All I did was point the finger of justice in the proper direction. Mm. Fine. Then we could have this little... Whoa. Yeah, that right. <laughs> this... This is insane! What about me? Don't I get to prosecute anyone? I know, right? He didn't get to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I believe this time we finally come to the end of our trial. Mr. Payne, do you have a report for us on Christoph Gavin? Uh, he's admitted everything. We're processing his arrest now. I see. Still, one has to wonder why he would do such a thing. He didn't even have a connection to the victim, did he? And none that we know of. Mr. Wright, have you anything to add? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't shed any more light on the matter. About this victim, Mr. Shady Smith, his occupation was listed as Traveler. An odd profession, to be sure, and that's all we know about him. I'll bring you follow-up investigation, Your Honor. Good. Mr. Wright? Yes? Seven years, and you still haven't lost your touch. Christoph Gavin was a man with much significance for me, both as a friend and a lawyer. He was extremely talented, to be sure. I needed two things before I could confront him. The first was a place where no injustice would be tolerated, this courtroom. The second was a man who could tolerate no injustice. Me. In other words, a defense attorney. Oh. You, Apollo. Me. <laughs> Me. A dark time was coming for our legal system. Twisting injustice brought on by our very own court system. We have to set it right. Mr. Wright! That's why my name is Wright. Our work lies ahead of us, and I for one am looking forward to it. Whoa. Well, this seems like a good time to announce a verdict. <laughs> this court finds a defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! Woo! Confetti? Yay! Yeah, the confetti's back. Oh, shit, we're Hey, like, I remember the joke now. <laughs> Court is adjourned. Oh man. Well. My goodness. Ooh wee, what a trip. Thanks, Apollo. Mm. You came through just like I thought you would. I'm pretty sure I didn't <laughs> do a thing in there. I know Phoenix did most of it. It was you who cornered Mr. Gav, the killer. I couldn't have done it by myself. You sensed it too today, didn't you? Your ability? Ability? Yes, the sensitivity I lack. You'll come to understand it soon enough. I'm not very good with people's emotions. I'll just warn you about this now. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if he means... I have one question for the witness then. You say you saw the moment the defendant hit the victim. Is this true? <laughs> of course it's true, yeah. What's this weird vibe I'm getting? That weird thing. What, what was that, Mr. Wright? You have to find the answer to that question yourself. The answer. Right. Today was full of questions without answers, most of them about Mr. Gavin. What possible reason could he have had to commit murder? Perhaps we'll learn that in the days to come. Uh. Huh? Wait. You don't know, do you? This locket is the key. Huh? Huh? Oh, that reminds me. I met the girl whose pictures in your locket. Yeah. Your daughter, right? That's right. She's my daughter. So cute. You know, you were right about this locket. Eh? I took this off his neck the night he died. But it looks like our dear Russian scam artist saw me. So the truth is, this locket really did belong to him. What? Wait, but that's perjury! You testified. You said the locket was yours. I said no such thing, actually. Uh -huh. Huh? I merely said there was a locket with my daughter's picture inside. A solid distinction, but a distinction nonetheless. Ah. That's the truth. Wait, but then... Why? Yeah. Why was the victim wearing a locket with the picture of your daughter inside it? Sometimes the straightest path to the truth isn't the best one. Give it time. Weird. You're still just getting started with your career. Speaking of which, I may be out of a job. I work for <laughs> Gavin Law Offices, after all. Oh. I still can't believe I just saw Mr. Gavin get led away in handcuffs. Huh. Apollo. Yes? How about coming to work for me? What? Yeah? <laughs> Do you mean at, at the Right and Go Law Offices? That's a name we haven't I mean, heard in a while. This, this is not a single attorney in my generation that doesn't know it. 
I can't imagine that to be true, but... Wait, but didn't you... You're not a... Oh, I turned in my badge, yes. I'm not an attorney anymore. Hmm. That incident seven years ago. What was it? That legendary trial. What was it? And at the middle of it all was one man. Phoenix Wright. The case reached a sad conclusion, and he left law for good. Have you ever thought about coming back to the courts? I'm... Not qualified to stand in a court of law, I'm afraid. Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. Forged evidence? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. Hmm. One piece of evidence struck me as odd, it's true. It just seemed, well, too perfect. I bet this is the forged evidence. Was it the card? Um... That's what they're making it sound like. Because he said a, a naughty magician's trick, so... Yeah. Because, I mean, the only two things that it could be would be the deadly bottle or the bloody ace. And, I mean, technically the deadly bottle was forged evidence, am I correct? Because he switched it afterwards. Right? It's either the card or the bottle. Because, I mean... If the card was the forged evidence, that would be very bad. Because <laughs> that's how we got our yeah. thing. So Maybe I'll say, the, I think the bottle? I think the bottle, because it was what was switched. Yeah. I'll roll with it. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong. Hmm. Or maybe uh. you didn't know. So it was. Fuck. Hmm, guess that wasn't it. No matter, I'll tell you. Oh, it, it was, was the card. Wait, uh, though. The card that girl gave me. Frankly, this couldn't have been found at the scene of the crime. Why? Because the killer took it with him when he left. Leaving the wrong card in its place. Luckily for us. If the cocaine is a fraud. <laughs> a fraud? How are you gonna be so sure? <laughs> I would think the only person who could have a crime was a fraud. One with one with the real card from the crime scene. The real killer. Oh my god. <laughs> <what> it... <laughs> I'm tired of rereading lines. Come on. Yeah. My verdict was already handed down. Seven years ago. Then you really. Yes, I forged this card. One look at the crime scene should have told you it wasn't real. But. But you can do something like that and call yourself an attorney. Who's calling themselves an attorney, Apollo? So it's true. The rumor is true. Seven years ago. None of that matters much now, does it? Duh! Uh, what the fuck happened? Uh, he forged evidence. Apparently. I, I I punched him. You just punched Phoenix? Uh, it's your story from here on out, Apollo. Perhaps I can help you turn the next page. My office address. Drop in if you like. Mr. Wright. Oh, about your uppercut. <laughs> Try yelling, take that, next time. I find it packs a little more punch. <laughs> and Apollo, thanks for today. I had a good time. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Excuse you. Oopsies. Anyways. And with that, <laughs> Mr. Wright walked out the door. And that's how my first trial ended. A lot of mysteries went unsolved. Yeah. And at the time, I had no idea that they were all related. Huh. Every mystery of that day... Connected by a single thread of logic. I'd find that out soon enough. My name is Apollo Justice, attorney at law. And this is how my story begins. Oh boy. And that's the end of the first episode. What the hell, man? Ooh wee. A brain episode has been added. Turnabout corner. Oh. Oh boy, we'll touch that next time. Man, this is... I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. I mean, it seems like this case is probably going to come back in the end because they're going over the overarching story of what happened. Yeah. And I assume that apparently Phoenix and Gavin were involved in whatever went on seven years ago. So I wonder if Gavin forged the evidence and it was being caught on to. So he threw it on right and got him accused of forging the evidence, which made him turn in his badge. Mm. So this time he's trying to get revenge, but then made, that means he had to forge evidence. You mean kind of like know. an Edgeworth situation? Like old school Edgeworth when he would like 
fabricate evidence? Yeah. Ah. Anyways, we'll go to yes. Turnabout Corner next time and see what this game has in store for us. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Peace.